all this time when there's other things I want to play. Dude, there's a new Judgment coming out. I haven't fucking played the original Judgment. Fuck. Fuck. Let's look at Yakuza 3. There's four, five, six. And then there's like other things to play. Shenmue? Fuck. <laughs> All right. I don't know why I was thinking of this. I don't know if you've ever seen this look before. But I was with my buddy Eugene once. And uh, we were driving. He's, he's a black guy. But he's a good friend of mine. And we are just driving along, and he's just driving, and this fucking idiot next to us looks at him like he's never seen a black man in his life. And I just, I take that look all the time, and I just look at random people like that all the time, just to see how they like it. It's like, I don't understand how people can be so fucking ignorant, but I guess until you're put in a realm where you have to think outside of your own skin, you'll never notice your flaws. Maybe that's a good thing for some people. Just don't go to the city. <laughs> Just don't go to the city, guys. Uh, there was okay. There was also opposite. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the Chappelle show where he like tries to be a white man. I met a black man that looked just like Dave Chappelle's made-up white man, and it was really fucking weird. I tried not to giggle. But that man definitely sensed <laughs> we're giving him a weird look because he gave me a fucking weird look. <laughs> oh, fuck it, Chappelle show. Okay, <laughs> there's a problem. Alright, so I think I even pointed this out, but I didn't notice it before. Objection! Fucking stupid. Hmm. I will now play the security tape. Shut up. If you don't see me for a while, don't worry. I don't know what's going on, but it's awesome. It's like things are, are, are building in my favor, so I'm trying to enjoy it while I can. Um, a book maybe coming out of nowhere. And a client who is basically a publisher is actively marketing me and trying to help them get work. And it's like a, an agency almost. It's pretty cool. It's a friend, I, and I know. She's helped me before, so I, I, can, I know I can trust her. And since almost all my books are Italy, why not have someone in Italy helping me out with that? It's fucking awesome. I've done books all over, but mainly I get Italy. It's insane, because I'd say that, like, I got a massive crush on Italian food and women, but hey. <laughs> uh, present! It's the light. It was already opened. The thing that's strange about this video has got to be this. Officer Meekins, sir, do you mean me, sir? Listen here, you little piece shit. As I understand it, the locker apparatus works like this. Who says apparatus? Also, it's weird how he hits the paper. Like, you wanna fight, you little fucker? Little fucking paper? How you piece of fucking paper shit? Who fucking hits a paper like that? I actually wanna punch him. If I see someone doing that on the street to a piece of paper, I'm gonna punch him. What the fuck that paper do to you? When you grab the handle, a sensor reads your fingerprint, if it's a match. Huh? Okay. I thought he had a picture of Miss Oldbag on his locker for- okay. <laughs> the light turns and the lock is released. I'm gonna have to start taking care of my voice. I think the book is small, so. I don't care if it is or isn't, I'll stay up all night. Uh, according to my very limited experience, that's the way I understand it, sir. Don't have you used the locker or whatever. If so, then there is something seriously wrong with this picture. Uh -oh. <laughs> Hey, don't tell me I gotta point it out again. One day they're gonna have a boner when they walk by the camera. That'll be the new tech. We can now have boners and erect nipples. <laughs> I don't care about PlayStation 5. It, 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 every fucking game that comes out, they're like, you sh I think right now they're just so screwed. With how fucked up the world is, they can't really in a big way push it because they can't even get equipment or anything to anyone. 
Not to say I wouldn't love one, but yeah, like I'm going to be able to afford one anytime soon. When the victim reaches for the handle to open the locker, let's rewind a little earlier. You're not doing anything. You're just playing it, idiot. Do you not understand what rewind is? Oh, okay. It's weird when he rewinds, we don't get lines. Here, notice the light? What's this? It's already lit? <laughs> I know what you're saying, Judd. I'm lit too. Hurry! Oh. Precisely my point. Your honor. The locker was already open before the victim grabbed the handle! I should not do this. I'm, I need my voice tonight. <laughs> uh, he, he made the noise. What up? What up? What's the meaning of this? I still can't believe you're wearing a tie. I don't know how I never noticed that. It's very simple, Your Honor. He says it like with that trying to hard hide a fart look. The locker wasn't locked on the day of the crime. Objection! You can't prove that! But the locker locks are controlled by an electronic system. When a door is shut, a sensor is triggered. And the locker is automatically locked, motherfucker. Oh, I know, it must have broke down. Of course, I'm not an expert in this. That's not likely, Your Honor. The sensor would detect and report any malfunction. Are you making that up? Sometimes I think people just think things do things that have never been said. I think my dad thinks my TV, like his TV will wash his car. Like, I'm serious. Have you ever met a person like that? They'll say something that's automatically true. That's what I feel like he just did. Oh well, just goes to show novices should keep their mouths shut. I don't know if you're telling yourself to shut up or him. So then, Mr. Wright, do you have an explanation? Me? Your Honor. Yes, wasn't, why wasn't the locker locked? Me? Your Honor? Yes, well, you see, this isn't exactly my field. <laughs> and he runs out. <laughs> what do you think, Miss Scientific Investigator? Huh? Oh, um... Maybe something like jam the system sensor. Why are you always posing like a fucking model? Do women just do that now? I'm gonna start staring at women more. <laughs> There's a weird line. No, it's weird. Like, why is she... She's always in, like, a fucking model pose. It's so weird. There was this fucking... <laughs> I, I know I brought this joke up before. But I just, I'm telling you, I, I, I'm I sorry I can see things the way I can. I hope it lights up your day. There was a box of gloves at this old job I worked at. And this motherfucker, I guess, thought it was his big break. Like, he put on the gloves, and in the picture, he did the finger guns. Like, he was so excited to get this job. I was like, did someone really think that was their big break? Like, he really kind of thought, like, who the fuck thinks up a, a box of gloves picture? But this motherfucker <laughs> did. <laughs> Something jammed the sensor. Say. Also, I had to get period stuff today, which was weird. I, I swear to God, every time I go to Rite Aid, it's something embarrassing, and I love it. Because the, the lady's like, excuse me, what did you say? Thinking I'm joking. I'm like, I told you what I wanted. Where is the period stuff? <laughs> Yes, I'm looking for your 18th century period. God damn it. I should have made a joke out of it, but I, I'm afraid to make jokes about that to a woman. <laughs> There's something else that seems out of place in this video. Yeah, you're supposed to rewind a video, asshole. Haven't you ever seen Be Kind Rewind? Yeah, I thought so too. There's got to be another clue somewhere in this footage. Huh? Very well. Let's inspect the video once more. I hope this is the Paris Hilton tape this time. The locker wasn't locked. Mr. Wright. What? What am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? Okay. What am I doing? What the fuck am I looking for? You know how fast that went through? What the fuck am I looking for, you stupid ass game?
I, I have no idea what I'm doing. The thing that's strange about this video would have... God damn it, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. We already did the, the thing is strange. Now we need another thing is strange? I'll show you a strange thing. My penis. What the fuck is this? Who can read that? What the fuck am I looking for? Fuck I'm looking for because I can't read the words. Look at that hand. Oh my god, it's a hand. I have no fucking idea what I'm looking for. What caused the locker not to be locked? the locker not to be locked I think I'm gonna stop playing this and just take a fucking old man nap I have no fucking idea what you think He doesn't try to close it, he leaves it open. God damn it. What the fuck? <sighs> I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Fucking no, I don't see anything in there. This sucks donkey shit. I don't know what the fuck I'm looking for. A cause of why a locker wasn't locked is because it was open. What kind of fucking stupid ass question is this? How do I pr Did you want people to go insane here with this goddamn music? I have no f I think I'm gonna quit already. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna have to look it up. I have no fucking clue what this game thinks I'm supposed to see here. I have no fucking idea. God damn it. This case is not fun at all. What the fuck were they thinking? Take that! This is like an insane hardcore case for no fucking reason. I just want to play a game, you, you fucking weirdos. 
What are I I feel like they made this before YouTube and Twitch was a thing and they were like rubbing their nipples laughing at you failing. What the fuck did they make this for? What the fuck is a cause for a <laughs> Fuck you, I'm cheating. You can suck my ass. I have no fucking idea how you think I'm supposed to know this. Hello, Mr. Tablet. I've come to talk to you again. Okay. Wow, these guys are real helpful. There's seven and a half hour streams. Are you fucking kidding me? Game facts. Arizona, you asshole. Okay, I'm supposed to use the object that fell. The glove. Guess it proves that it wasn't locked. I completely did that by accident. Oh my god, I did... <laughs> I I swear to you, I fingered that by accident. I hope Randy's not here, because she would clip that. <laughs> I did not fucking... I didn't even realize I meant to pause it, and I hit triangle. Oh my god, that was fucking cool. Alright. It was like a cool thing to happen for a cheater. Shut up. The only reason I'm cheating is there's too many games to be stuck in this. This is a thing back in the day, when there wasn't many games... You were waiting for new games to come out. We're not waiting for shit. We don't have enough time to flip the fucks out there now. Please watch closely. This is the continuation of the part I showed you earlier. Okay, don't tell me I have to do things. Uh -oh. So what is then? Back in hell. Something white fell out of the locker. <laughs> but sir, it's been my experience that things fall out when doors are opened. <laughs> so you're beaten here. I don't know if he's left-handed. I often fall out and roll great distances when I open my car door, sir. We can't be sure that item was completely inside the locker to begin with. You think he was trying to put it in there? Giggity? What? What the fuck? What do you mean? The sensor triggers a lock when the door is shut. What if something was inserted, say, between the sensor and the door? Like a piece of gum? In... inserted? 
What what the hell's a vagina? What, what are you talking about? In who gets confused on the word inserted? <laughs> I guess Argent, well, my generation that watch Beavis and Butthead can't. Inserted. <laughs> huh? <laughs> this white thing wasn't inside the locker. <laughs> Was this supposed to be M rated? It, th there's there's things I hate in Hollywood. And it's like uh if you force it type thing. I'm trying to think of a good example. The Sixth Sense, for example, does not feel like a goddamn PG-13 movie. But when you go to movies where they they save the F word and they only use it once, I fucking hate that. But when, I don't know, there's certain movies, The Ring scared the crap out of me. Like, there's just certain movies that work. Paranormal Activity? There's just certain movies that can pull it off. It's so, I think they're rated R, though. I don't remember. Shut up. But that was, my point was, this doesn't feel like it's rated T at all. It just feels like a real thing and we're going through it. You know what I mean? It's hiding that illusion that it's got a rating, which is a really hard thing to do. I don't know if they aim to do that when they create it or not. It was stuck between the door and the sensor. Fucking nose, come on. Oh, I understand now, sir. It's just like my tie. What tie? Oh. Two out of three times it gets stuck in the door when I get out of my patrol vehicle, sir. Instead of the door closing. But the object would have to be extremely thin to fit the door. I love how he cut him off. Jesus, Judge, you're, you're kind of an asshole. Not only that, it would also have to block electrical currents. You're a nerd. It would need to be an insulator. <laughs> he inserted an insulator. Yes, an insulator, but at the crime scene. There just might have been something that dis that fits that description. I was about to say the descriptions that fits. <sighs> but sir, my insulator, you don't mean... A condom! Oh, I think I finally got this figured out. Very well. Will the defense please present the relevant evidence? What was this insulator that was stuck in the locker door? I don't understand. I thought we already knew this. Take that! I found this near the locker. A thin rubber glove. Stupid motherfucker, that's a condom! No. <laughs> but we can't be sure that that, that that was in the victim's locker. It has a tag that says the SL9 incident. No, it doesn't. That's not what it says. Can you read? I wish that paper would punch you in the fucking face. Fight back, paper! Oh. The video seems to depict the, the victim opening the locker. But that isn't the case. The lamp... Uh, la, what? The lit lamp attests to this. That is a weird sentence. The lit lamp attests to this. The lit lamp attests to this. That's not that hard. I thought it would work, but it's not a... Tongue t twister. I was about to say tongue titty. I need I need a girl. <laughs> Damn tongue titties. On the day of the crime, even I could have opened that locker. Are you like always depressed on yourself? Also, I did not realize the Jack Nicholson hair. How did I miss that? Is this not so, Officer Meekins? Sir? It would appear so, sir. God damn. He, I think he screams higher than Michael, Michael Jackson. Order. 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 So we are to believe then that the victim whom this witness stabbed in the evidence room was not Detective Goodman. Maybe it was Detective Badman. Bad woman. <laughs> what? Shut up. Do not be misled, your honor. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworthy little shit? You explain everything to me. The defense has merely demonstrated that possibility and nothing more. How long has it been since you had a haircut? You look like a tarantula is on your head. The victim in this video was indeed Bruce Goodman. The prosecution will offer one more testimony to prove this. What? Officer Meekins, please testify about this right now. As I point at you. Right now, make it up. You don't have any facial hair. S sir? M me? M sir? I'm not sure what you're referring to, sir. Uh, 
Oh, you mean that, sir? Of course, sir. Is this a joke? I don't know. Very well, begin your testimony. What dumbass made that rule? You must hit it in this spot. And that means everyone shut the fuck up. Who created court? I, I want to know how they like made these rules up. <laughs> we, uh, we accept them now because they're our normalcy, but... When the fuck? <laughs> Who the fuck taught people this? It's fucking weird when you think about it in a first instance. Like, ding, what the fuck's that asshole doing? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, ding! <laughs> Mystery man number two. There's one other thing that proves the man was Detective Goodman, sir. I like reading real slow when it goes fast. To enter the evidence room, one must use their ID card. When an ID card is used, there's a record of it. It's weird that he had it nailed. This is like he rehearsed like crazy, isn't it? At the time of the crime, the detective had used this card. An ID card record. What? Okay. He looks like he fell asleep. I... I see. I have the ID card record right here, Your Honor. Hey, 4, 420. No, 420. Smoke weed every day. Uh, the ID used at 514 is that of the victim. Bruce Goodman. Bruce Wayne. Just before the crime. Hmm, yes, without a doubt. This is even the victim's ID. Were you playing dumb? You remembered the number? The whole time. Alright, you're not as stupid as you appear to be. Okay. However, one thing does strike me as unusual. Several hundred cases should have been due for transferal. What? Hundred? Why were there so few using this room? This particular evidence room is only used for storing certain special cases, sir. Special cases? They said it like a pause, like, look at the way it's written. Special cases? Extremely violent cases involving police staff. Just hearing that makes my hair stand on end. Okay. Me too. Although it doesn't make much of a difference. What? I don't get it. He's saying he doesn't have any hair in his balls. There were only a few cases up for transferal there, and most were cleared up by noon. Right? Let's see. Let me take my fucking... Let me take my neck. It's that time. Now let's move on to the cross-examination. Examine it. There's one other thing that proves the man was Detective Goodman, sir. Hold it! So, unlike your earlier testimony, you believe this to be rock solid, do you? Yes, sir. Solid as stone, sir. If my hand wasn't wrapped in bandages, I'd even give the V for victory sign, sir. You could use your other hand, idiot. In Korea, does, this is going to sound like I'm making fun of a culture, and I'm not. In Korea, does the pussy licking sign mean something else? Because they, they keep doing the like V near their face, but I don't think they know what that means over here. I don't think it means the same thing to them. I really feel like when Blackpink came over here, they stopped doing a lot of things. In fact, I haven't seen them do the little heart thing. Oh. <laughs> like somebody said my nipple pinching things to him. <laughs> I knew it happened sooner or later. I don't think I've seen them do that heart thing since. Since they came to America more frequently. Aw, oh, man. That's fucked up. Couldn't he just use his right hand for that? Somebody clipped that. A woman saying that in a tea game. <laughs> Let's hear him out fully. Stop falling asleep. This is a long case, though. And it's almost like the character's cracking on that fact. Let me check and make sure that my stream is working. 
Alright, say and I got messages. Let me check, make sure. Nope, it's a lying hussy. Okay. God damn it. It has that gyroscope function, but I use it to read as a script. So I try to get it to gyroscope the other way, so it's long way, so I have more to work with and more to read on the page. But sometimes I don't pay attention to which side, so I never know where the fucking power button is on the motherfucker. As we've seen, one never knows what he might say until the very last second, yes. What? Two enter the evidence room. One must use their ID card. What is this ID card, you speaker? Why do I have gray hair at the age of 24? There's a mystery for you. Is that card hanging from your neck one of these ID cards you, you rap scallions talk about? Yes, sir. This card right next to my cuffs, sir. What? What? Where are your cuffs? Are you trying to make me look at your balls? Where's your, where are his cuffs? I feel like he's trying to trick me into looking at his balls or something. I don't see any cuffs there. You're full of shit. I keep it here so I won't even forget it. Oh, ever forget it. Even forget You fucking idiot. You don't have facial hair. Maybe at one point in the artist regiment, you might have had facial hair. They decided, no, fuck him. Facial hair hard. I want a day off. Fuck you, boss. <laughs> Oh, I'm not changing the animation. I fucking refuse. <laughs> no, he's, well, he's not really. That's more like a thinky face. But what if someone were to steal it out from you? Why am I adding words? Keeping it out in the open like that. It's like, damn, my facial hair is getting long. Maybe I should wear it around my neck. I hate you. Remember when I said... Two out of three times my tie gets stuck when I get out of my car. <sighs> Hang on. It's I I don't even have a voice for this character, and talking to him depresses the crap out of me. How could he hurt you? Like he weighs like four pounds. Well, the remaining time, it's my ID card that gets stuck. Instead of the door closing, it's... what? I didn't do that. Maybe I should just leave this one alone. At any rate, each police officer has only one ID card. Both the police and the prosecutor's office can attest to this. Please proceed with your testimony. When an ID card used, there is a record of it. it. Let it be noted that this is the record that the witness referred to. Let me see. Yes, that would be it. Detective Goodman. What's the matter? You gonna cry, you little bitch? Uh, according to this... Mr. Edgeworth, your name is on here. So it is, Your Honor. Sometimes I steal the Vaseline from the evidence room. You caught me. You know how that one time he called me a jack-off? Well, I am, so... <laughs> hey, maybe he's behind all this. He's a prosecutor. Mommy, is that man in blue a murder? What the fuck? Who's there? Who brought their kids? Shh, don't stare at him. You've got the wrong color, kid. What? What the fuck was that? You've got the wrong color, kid? I don't think that was translated right. It would seem the inquiry committee would want to speak with you again today. I have nothing to be ashamed of regarding my actions or their consequences or the lubiderm. The lub lubiderm? What? Jergens? I don't fucking remember what it's called. The lotion I got. Push the lotion in the skin or else it gets the hose again. For now, let us continue with the cross-examination. Poor Mr. Edgeworth, it must be so difficult for him. What the hell are you talking about? Is is this how stupid women are when they're on when they have, well men are stupid too on crushes. I can't say anything. We're all stupid. Yes we are. Don't even fucking start with me. At the time of the crime, the detective had used the his card. Okay.
Earlier, I believe you testified that when you asked the man to show his card, he showed you his balls. Oh, he pulled a knife on you. How did he get out? We're just supposed to believe he killed him? I don't understand what the fuck happened here. And let alone he wasn't there when he woke up. Nothing makes sense. This We don't have shit of the story yet. It looks like a, a family guy skit. Like, hey honey, he stole a ham. Oh, never mind, he's just a fat kid. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that where Chris was just walking in the store and they thought he was stealing hams. Yes, sir. He didn't show me any ID card, sir. Don't you think that's odd? Yeah, how the fuck did he get in there? I mean, if he had his ID card, all he had to do was show it to you. There wouldn't be any reason to draw a knife. Yeah, this is true. I like this. I like this line of reasoning. Okay. M maybe he just panicked. You don't just panic like, I'd rather stab him than show him a card. <laughs> right, shut the fuck up. Everything stems from contradictions. Let's point them out. Mr. Wright, what do you think? I'm confused. What? The problem with this ID card testimony is far too obvious. It's not like Edgeworth to miss something like this. You're thinking too hard about it. Come on, let's show them what we've got. There's one other thing that proves the man was Detective Goodman, sir. So unlike your earlier testimony, you believe this to be rock solid, do you? Guess it repeated. All right. Is there a way to enter without using the ID card, maybe? the evidence room one must use their ID card when an ID card use, is used there's a record of it at the time of the crime the detective had used his card it's not like Edgeworth to miss something this obvious I have no idea what statement I can press here It's, it's fun when you, like, look forward to playing something that just fucks you over. Really? I want to play this game, you fuckers! Why do you hate me? Is this going to be the whole series? <laughs> Why the hell did they only make these three games, too? Were these the only ones that were good? I'm not sure what we're trying to prove. I'm trying to see if I can... The problem with his ID card testimony is far too obvious. Okay, so this is about the ID card. There's one other thing that proves the detective... The man was Detective Goodman, sir. How could he? Wasn't the ID card in another fucking area? Found at prosecutor's office. 
it wasn't on the yeah let me use this Objection! it wasn't even fucking on the scene of the crime wait one moment officer meekins i'm not good at waiting sir ask my wife oh. <laughs> i have the victim's id card right here it's a piece of paper i really wish that paper could punch you i found it at the crime scene that makes sense when I say crime scene, I'm not referring to the evidence room at the police department. I did a bouge. I, I hope there was someone that got stuck here, because I got stuck a lot. Fuck you. <laughs> I mean the other crime scene. The underground parking lot. At the prosecutor's office. No, that was not a misspeak. The parking lot. You ever heard that song? By uh, Whitey McWhiteface? I don't know the name of the goddamn band, but... The girl does it the right way, but there's a guy that sings the Look at the fucking lot. It sounds just like he's saying fucking lot. There's like one part of the song where he clearly says parking. The rest of the song, I'm pretty sure that man's like, Put up a fucking lot. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> I can't be the only one that hears it. I pointed it out to my friend, and he was like, That's all I hear now. <laughs> he, he can't unhear it. Your Honor. I have one more piece of evidence to present. It's a very important clue regarding this victim's ID card. A lost item report? It's only half completed. But it shows that, det that Detective Goodman had a hiccup and burped a little, had lost something on the day of the crime. Something important enough to fill out this report. Let me guess. You believe this something to be his ID card, right? Why the hell are you missing this? What are you focused on? He is right. You're not normally like this. This is pretty bizarre. This was easy. Like, when I actually really thought about it, it was actually easy to understand. I can't say for sure, but there is a high probability. On the day of the crime, Detective Goodman was not carrying his card. Order, order. So now, what does all this mean? It can only mean one thing. It doesn't even require much thought. The man Officer Meekins encountered in the evidence room was not Detective Goodman, but rather the man who stole his ID card. Does the prosecution have a response? <laughs> I have only one thing to say to the defense. Fuck you! And then he just runs out of the courtroom. Oh, that'd be awesome. Bravo, Mr. Wright. Huh? I don't like you like this. But, bravo! Sh should I cut him? <laughs> That's how I feel when I get a compliment. Customer's like, you're doing a great job, son. I'm like, oh, fuck you? <laughs> Why are we so bad at compliments? It's not just me. There's, I told a girl, I've told many women this. You do a great job. They, they, they blush and they freak out. They don't know how to fucking react. It's a, it's a fucked up world we've created. They deserved it. They really did. They'd really do a great job. Allow me to summarize the defense's argument. At 5.15 p.m. on the day of the crime. The man in the evidence room Officer Meekins encountered was not Detective Goodman. There are two grounds to support this. I was hiding a yawn, that's why I didn't skip it. First, the locker in the evidence room was already unlocked. Second, the victim, the victim lost his ID card. The victim. The victim. Am I correct so far, Mr. Wright? Yes. What's he up to? That being the case, we must inevitably arrive at a single conclusion. What the fuck game is he playing? Hang on, I gotta look up naked pictures of Jessica Alba. Keep going, hang on. Or at least, at least bikini pictures, hang on. I'm not doing anything, I'm just looking on YouTube. 
do 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 Okay. Oh my god, Billie Eilish was alive in 2014? How the fuck are you referencing this? Because I watch a guy that plays random music videos? You are fucking stupid, YouTube. I haven't watched one Horizon Zero thing in like over a couple years. And it's like he must want to know everything about Horizon. Okay. <laughs> I heard, I don't know if this is a joke or not, because the person's not reliable that said it, but supposedly they're remaking the, uh, well, not remaking, I, maybe it is a remake, but even then it's still shit. They're, uh, they're putting the first four Sonics, including Sonic and Knuckles, together in one collection. What? That's like 500 megabytes. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? <laughs> What about Sonic Adventure and everything else? Who gives a fuck? I own all of those games like 50 times. Are you stupid, Sega? I hope you're remastering them or something, because if if you're not, you guys are fucking stupid. I, I haven't looked this up to find out what's going on yet, but really? I own all of those games on your Genesis collection, the Genesis Mini, you idiots. Plus, I don't want to say idiots, but it's pretty silly. But. And then you got the Sega Genesis coll uh, collection they gave people. So, who the fuck would buy it? What are they doing? Give us the games we can't have. I fucking... I fucking tried to play. Uh, Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Generations. I tried to play them on the PlayStation Now. You can kiss my ass. The stream delay sucked ass, dude. I hated it. Plus, not being able to share it, I hated everything about it. How do you not- how are you not able to run a game? It's that old. What the fuck ever? If the victim in this video is a fake, then the murderer in the evidence room is also a fake. In other words, the camera does not show the instance of the murder. Uh, th that is... Well, I guess that's right. Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? Goddamn unfunny. Look at the smirk. He really thought that was genius. Oh my god. <laughs> he saved that one up and he's like, oh well. People probably read this like it wasn't anything, but clearly he's got a giant smirk on his face. He's like, damn, that's clever. <laughs> Only moments ago, you seemed content to be pointing your finger around like you are. This isn't going to end well. Well, 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 little bitch. It seems you finally realized. Exactly what you've gone to such lengths to prove. Explain yourself, Mr. Edgeworth. The defense has already done the explaining for me, sir or madam. I have to be safe in this generation. The victim in this video is a fake. Which means a murderer. A murder did not take place. Goddamn Bert, come on. Oh, there was more. At the police department at 5.15 on the day of the crime. So... So the real crime could only take place at one location. The underground park in La... Mm -ba 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 -ba. Mm -ba -ba. God damn, I'm not gonna stop hearing that. Son of a bitch. Pay paradise to put up a fucking lie. And now, now, don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you got till it's gone. To pay paradise to put up a fucking lie. Huh? Uh, I thought he, he, he kind of like he was gonna give her a wet willy. At the prosecutor's office, the murderer being Ms. Lana Sky, the defendant. The evidence is compelling. I don't trust her. Her name's Sky. <laughs> A trustworthy witness. Observe the moment the defendant used the murder weapon. Ah! Why? Why'd you scream like that?
Duka, 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 duka. I knew that testimony was way too shabby. What the fuck is too shabby? I'm gonna fucking just say it like completely. I'm just gonna. Here, you want this pizza pizza? It's too shabby. What the fuck's that even mean? What? What the fuck does that mean? People say it all the time. What does it actually mean? Give me this. Let me, like, look it up in a way that there's no way anyone ever looked it up. That. Girls. Boobs. Are. Too. Shabby. There we go. Nobody should have searched this. Six breast things that are completely normal. God damn it. Sore breast. Is it normal to have sore breasts? Okay, this didn't go any way the way I thought it would. What people with big boobs want to know. Okay, god damn it. <laughs> at least it didn't bring up porn. Those days have changed at least. Uh, what? What does the fox say? Like I looked that up before. What does too shabby? Alright, here we go. It's informal. A fairly good or quite good. He came in the second. He came in second in the race. That's not too shabby for an inexperienced runner. What? I knew this testimony was way too shabby. Was way too fairly good. <laughs> that makes sense. What? I don't fucking understand. God damn it. <laughs> I think he's like me, and he just uses the fucking word when he has no idea. It was all a trap from the beginning. Son of a bitch. The activity in this evidence room still leaves many questions unanswered. Who exactly was the victim Officer Meekins encountered? And where did this person disappear to? However, this trial's purpose is only to examine the murder of Detective Goodman. Are you just cranky because it's bedtime? I feel like he's just cranky. Just so, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, you have to do something or else Lana... What do I do? How am I supposed to save myself out of this mess? Object, wait and see what happens? I better pace myself if I rush ahead. I might turn into an, uh, turn right into another trap. But Mr. Wright, if you don't... It seems the defense is out of ammunition! The surrender flag has been raised. Your Honor, may we have our ruling now? Don't give up, Mr. Wright. Get up and fight! Objection! What? One moment, Your Honor. What now, Mr. Wright? Don't tell me you're objecting to what you've just proven. That's why he let me... Son of a bitch. Okay, <laughs> that's why he let me go. He, he did see the gap. Phoenix was right. It was a trap. Of course not. But I almost walked right into the prosecution's trap. What are you talking about? This cross-examination has, has proven one thing and only one thing. This security video, video did not show the actual murder. Well, it looks like someone jizz blasted on his left eye. Well, his right eye. Could be a her. I don't fucking know. The artist is a very strange individual. Stop making me watch this fucking tape. At least they took the music out. So the people who tested it were like, I can't take this fucking music anymore. However, it cannot be said that this <laughs> that it is unrelated to the murder in the parking lot. What? Oh, I thought like a, someone had an amazing jizz blast. It's like, what the fuck just happened? Specifically large amounts of, of blood tracers were found in the evidence room. The defense demands further examination into the truth of the matter. Now answer me, you David Duchovny looking motherfucker! No, I'm trying to use something for the truth is out there. I couldn't think of something. Mr. Edgeworth! Yes, Your Honor? If this court were to examine this further, other witnesses will be necessary. Is the prosecution prepared? 
I'm sorry, Your Honor. The prosecution considered the incident at the police department to be unrelated. We have not prepared any other witnesses for this incident. Damn, I'm good. This just might be my chance. Time to call a certain Texas Ranger to the stand. Mr. Wright, do you mean? Your Honor, the defense would like to request a specific witness. Oh, whom do you have in mind? Marshall Mathers. <laughs> someone we have the reason... Someone we have reason to believe knows the truth. The truth behind the activities that took place in the evidence room. The prosecution requests to hear this person's name. I'm probably going to end soon because I want to save my voice for actual work tonight. But we're, we're going to be playing this more. But again, I probably won't be in tomorrow. Because I'm going to try to make as much as I can with DoorDash. It's, it's weird when you get paid all over the place. I don't know how much money I'm going to be having because everything is scattered. Like, some money's from Instacart, some is from my book royalties, some is from, uh, if all goes well, a YouTube payment, some is from my fiber work that I'm doing for voice acting. Before deciding whether or not to comply. What? I think I missed a sentence there. Well, very well then, Mr. Wright, you little bastard. This person whom you would have testify, what is his or her name? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end here. Oh, I can't. I'd like him to testify, but... Take that! Okay. Officer Jake Marshall. Let me save and call it a day. Please don't think you're doing anything wrong. I'm just, I'm tired and I need a nap. I woke up at like 5 this morning, went to sleep at midnight. I just need like a little, little nap to make sure that I get through the night and finish this damn book. And then I can just edit it and I'm hoping to have it done tomorrow. If I get, if all goes well, I'll be able to pull a double shift for DoorDash, finish the book, and then we'll be back to streaming daily again. But if not, I gotta wait. But... At the moment, I don't have any books, and I've told everyone I'm not doing books on the weekend, so I should be clear. There's just no point. It's like struggling for nothing. You know people are out and partying and, and just out. Why waste my time? So, you got to find out what's best for you. But you guys have a lovely day. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.